Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. We're just going to jump right in here Sagittarius and see what's going on, all right, with you today. See what Spirit wants to tell you today, okay? Um, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node, so of course it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot. Thank you. And I do offer same-day personal readings. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Okay, thank you. All right, Libras. I'm sorry, not Libra. Sagittarius. I just read for Libra, but you might have Libra in your chart, or I guess you could be dealing with a Libra. But I was going to say, um, <laughs> I do this. Why do I do this? I don't know. <laughs> stimming. Why am I stimming for you? Oh, no. Okay, let's see what's going on here, Sagittarius, okay? <laughs> All right. Oracles is what I'm trying to say. Why is it so hard for me to say oracles? All right, Saggy. Let's see. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> now the first one fell out sideways. We have find ways to lighten up and not take everything so seriously. So as, as geez, easier said than done if you're having a shit day, right? <laughs> but it's like, you know, it is also that energy of, you know, easier said than done. Um, try, you know what I mean? Find ways to lighten up and not take it seriously. You might be overworking yourself. You might be trying too hard with things that you don't really have to. Take time. Have a good time. Relax. You're a human being. You know what I mean? Um, but see, you're aware of this too, though, which is what, why it fell sideways. And so you're trying to figure something out and work on something here because of that. Now, in the... Oh, I wasn't... That's weird. The words in the end was trying to pop out. But what I was trying to say here, the next card. Weird. In reverse, we have live your life with both feet in. Commit fully to being here. So Sagittarius, you're you are, I mean it's pretty obvious. Your your head head is in the clouds. You're being a saggy. You're running around and being a skedaddle out of in your brain. Where are you going? Up here. You gotta commit to the earth. I, I know you wanna be up there, but we, we're all here on this planet, unfortunately. We gotta we gotta figure it out here, okay? Um you're kinda like, nah. <laughs> way up there come back down to earth reality you're not wanting to though you're deep somewhere now the other one we have in reverse here is you have such a bright light inside stop dimming it you are sabotaging yourself don't do that Sagittarius you're wonderful quit such a quit quit such a tight what quit Sagittariusing yourself in a sabotaging way how about that I don't know what that means excuse me this is my brain with no caffeine. Okay, accept it as it is. <laughs> um, okay. Hmm. There's some stuff going on, so let's see here. Okay, Sagittarius. With the tarot. Yeah, there's the same matching energy of like head in the clouds. So you might just be, I don't know, you might live a life where you're allowed to daydream and have everything done for you and you don't have to do anything or you just really, because it's either you're beyond confused in such a way where you're getting lost in it and it's making you feel emotional and all over the place or you really just like living in your head and like la la land. Either or, I don't know. Now, right away though, I will say that um, you start out, not wanting to really create anything or plan anything. And if you are, you're not even happy about it or passionate about it. 
But I do see here that there's someone or something here about money and finances that does kind of make you be like, okay, well, here's my job or here's this and that's secure. After that, though, it's like either you don't know, you can't understand what just happened or it's like there's actual confusion or you just rather be delusional. Maybe it's easier. I don't know. And then at the end here, then you're actually faced with, well, huh, hmm, life, your own belief system, your own whatever you believe in, um, the marriage, the contracts, something here. Even you know you're like, I don't know. I don't think so. I'm kind of listening. I'm accepting, but not really, not yet. Okay, you're, you're figuring something out. So let's see here with the clarifiers. is going on here there we go okay yeah well yeah that makes sense Sagittarius jeez oh, that's why I said like easier said than done right you're kind of like well I feel like crap Val like I'm not feeling the greatest girl I understand it's hard to do anything when you're you know going through it there's a lot of pain and sadness and depression or like dwelling or like uh, bitter energy, but not because you're bitter. It, it, it's like a you, you think of it, and then it's like you know the situation, and then it just feels bitter. That that's what I mean by that. Um, but you're you're still choosing to sit with it and dwell and not really like work on it. But whatever that's about, I mean, obviously it, it's very deep. Um, that's what's making you kind of like not care much about how you're planning for something, right? Okay. But just go along with it. You know, you're going along with it, just like me. Mm -hmm. Once again, though, it's because you're still on that journey of that spiritual awakening. You're aware of it. And you know what it is? It's about a person. For some of you, you 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 see who is who, what is what and why. And it's someone close to you. For others of you, you're going through a huge awakening and you're realizing it's t you're, you're, you're done. You're shedding away anything that was just not good for you of yourself, of people, places, things. That's actually what kind of helped you with the financial security, honestly, here. Okay. Or whatever you're doing with like business and money and finances. There you are. <laughs> you're funny, Sagittarius. You're like, I, I'm actually in the position where I, I can sit there and just like kind of la la land. Okay, well, good. Well, it makes sense. Congratulations if you guys are pregnant. For others of you, you have the literal position like money, wealth, status, power. You could be a mother figure, father figure. Like you're just, you do well in some way, shape or form. And that's what's causing you to kind of well, unless it's another person that's doing well is what's making you be like, what the hell? Either or. But you yourself, I think you enable yourself to kind of be like, you know, just, uh, Sagittarius, you know, head up in the clouds. Okay. But I mean, it's a, you have the right to. You're just kind of chilling there. So. Mm. Okay, it's the contract, it's a business, it's a work, it's the collaborations, it's your job, it's the career path. Do you have a job or do you not want one? Something about that. Or maybe it's kind of like you just find you, you find ways to get away with like not trying that hard because so many people do the same thing you do possibly here. And so you can just kind of like pluck and like mimic and copy possibly. But that's what's messing with you and your level of spirituality, like what you believe in your faith. If you do that for work, yeah, it's probably time to walk away. Um, but others of you, you're not really sure. Do you want to sign again? Do you want to sign the contract? Do you want to commit to someone or something? You're not even sure. You're at a standstill. Okay. And so I don't know if it's about collaborations or work or whatever. But that's what I have for you here today. Okay. We have um, Scorpio, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn, Libra. And that's about it. Thank you. Bye.